Hello everyone, this is Oshini from Chinta.com. In this particular video, we will talk about a problem-solving strategy. It is useful for mathematical olympiads such as American Math Competition, IOQM, RMO, INMO and ISI CMI entrances. It's also useful for research projects. If you are working on a, on a research project at Chinda or if you are enrolled in one of these courses, then this video will be useful for you. There is a very famous book on problem solving strategies called How to Solve It. And this is written by Polya. Polya is one of the greatest mathematicians of all time. So you should look into this book. It has a lot of great insights. We talk about these strategies in our courses. So I just want to give you one example. And this is sometimes known as create a miniature. So what I'm going to do is I will show you an example where this miniature works. And then I will show you another example that will teach you why you should be very careful. And at the end of this video, I'll give you a challenge problem. So if you can solve the challenge problem, there is a little award for the best commenter. So put a comment and let me know what you think about the challenge problem. Okay. So here is, here is the problem solving strategy. Let's suppose you are given a problem and you want to get started with that problem. Many students ask me, how do I even get started? And this is the thing that you can do as a very first step. It's called create a miniature or creates some examples. So I'll give you one example problem. This is very simple. Many of you already know this n choose 0 n choose 0 plus n choose 1 plus n choose 2 plus n choose 3 up to n choose n gives the sum of this particular expression it's very simple many of you already know this but for those of you who do not know this here is how you can get started. So what you can do is you can create some special cases and test out what is the output value. For example, for n equals to 1, you have 1 choose 0 plus 1 choose 1, which is just 2. For n equals to 2, you have 2 choose 0 plus 2 choose 1 plus 2 choose 2, which is uh, 4. For n choose 3, you have 3 choose 0, 0 plus 3 choose 1 plus 3 choose 2 plus 3 choose 3 which is 8. And now you have a sort of a pattern in front of you, right? You know that, okay, it's a doubling. 2 becomes 4, 4 becomes 8, 8 would become 16, okay? So for n equals to 4, your guess that the output is 16. Let's see if that works. 4 choose 0 plus 4 choose 1 plus 4 choose 2 plus 4 choose 3 plus 4 choose 4. This is 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 into 3 by 2 into 1 which is 6. So you have 6 plus 4 plus 4 plus 1 plus 1 is 60, which is perfect. So now you have a guess that, okay, the sum is probably, the sum is probably 2 to the power n. Of course, you have not proved it, but you have taken a very critical step. You have made an educated guess about the final answer. That, that, that obviously gets you started with the problem. And that was the whole point. How do you get even started with a problem? So 
That's the first step. You create a miniature. Sometimes you also see a pattern. For example, in this particular case, if you really write this down, then you will probably you will probably recognize the Pascal's triangle panning out. There are there are multiple avenues that you can take. You can go with induction. That's possible that you just prove that in the next level everything just adds up as they would in a Pascal's triangle. So 1 plus 1 becomes 2, 1 plus 2 becomes 3, 2 plus 1 becomes 3, 1 plus 3 becomes 4, 3 plus 3 becomes 6, 3 plus 1 becomes 4 and so on. So you can show this by induction. So all of these different avenues opens up in front of you. Once you have done this miniature step so this will get you started but as i told you you have to be very careful about this and i will show this using an example let's say let's say you have a circle so this is a counter example so let's say you have a circle and you 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 try to find out at how many regions how many regions the paper is divided into when you draw one circle. So if you draw one circle, the number of regions is obviously one and two inside the circle, outside the circle. So two regions. So circle, number of circles on board is one, number of regions is two. Now suppose you have two circles. So now how many regions are there? Okay, so one, two, three, four. So there are four regions. So two circles, four regions. Now let's do with three circles. Okay, so let's do this carefully. Three circles. So let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So three circles, eight regions. Eight regions. So now you see what's going on, right? You are seeing a pattern. Now you are tempted to guess what would happen with four circles can you the audience can you tell me what happens for the fourth circle how many regions will be there and the condition is the fourth circle will not pass through any of one of the original intersection points so basically no three circles pass through the same point And every pair of circles intersect each other at two points. So that's the first condition. Second condition is every pair. So any two circles would intersect. Intersect each other at two points. So they are not tangents to each other. Okay. So here is the question. What would happen? What would happen when there is the fourth circle? How many regions? So that's the first question. How many regions for four circles? And the second question is, it's more important. How many regions, how many regions for N circles? So you give me a formula for it. Can you prove it? So this is a challenge question. Give it a try. And you, you can also see, if you know how many regions are there for four circles, you have found why guessing can be dangerous at some times. So, this is the summary of the entire thing that we just did today. We talked about the problem-solving strategy called making of the miniature. We saw how it can be useful in some cases. And then I gave you a challenge problem where you can see that sometimes it can be dangerous to use it. Okay, so try the challenge problem. Check the link in the description if you are interested in our outstanding programs on mathematical sciences. We have a whole mentoring program and program for taking students to the Ivy League universities through math Olympiad research programs, interns internships and so on. So check that out. I hope you will enjoy it. Thank you for joining us today. Take care and stay well. Bye.